What's happening in Lake Tahoe? Make sure you tune in the Tahoe Tonight Show each and every evening. It's interview based. Let's see if you see any of your friends on there letting you know what's going on in your community. That's right, 5, 8, and 11 o'clock every single night. Join moi. It is an absolutely spectacular day here in Lake Tahoe, and I cannot imagine a more beautiful setting than to be here in the patio area in front of the garage doors at the Tahoe Poorhouse, which is located at the Y in the Crossing Center, kind of tucked in behind Big Five. And I'm talking with Mark Davis. We're having so much fun because he's helping me to understand a little bit more about wine and food and pairing and all that. So thank you so much for taking the time today. That's great. Yeah, it's really nice out here today. You know, it's still summertime time in Tahoe and uh, we've got the rosé flowing and you can come down if it gets too hot in the sun you can have a nice glass of frozen rosé um, or you can have one of our gambas ajillo or one of our small plate selections we have sandwiches and salads and you can dine indoors or outdoors you know so sit inside in the shade a little cooler in there or come outside under an umbrella or get a little tan in the sun you know whatever you whatever your preference is yeah midday here in the fall is perfect weather in Tahoe it's still game on so much fun still to be had. So the Tahoe Poorhouse has the discovery wall where you can purchase a bottle of wine and you also have a pour wall. Tell us about that. Yeah, the self-pour wine wall is 20 taps. Each one comes from a keg. Each keg saves about 26 bottles from being made, transported, or trashed. Really a, a cost, a, a, an environmental savings there. And the, the advantage is you get to pour whatever amount of wine that you want. It's touch screens, so you can read about the wine that you're tasting. You can uh, to go, go through the tasting notes, see if you taste the blackberries or if you taste the cherries or if you taste the wet straw or whatever they say, you know, as far as their right. adjective to describe the wine. And it's a great way to kind of educate yourself on the wine. It's self-progressing. You can do it at your own pace. Pour whatever amount, half an ounce to a full glass and uh, just enjoy, you know, a good sampling of the different v varieties that we have. Um, because there are varietals, uh, even, even Chardonnay is very between each different one right. from buttery to dry and steely. So so um, yeah, come in and try that out. In the yeah, I love that so much because you can just take whatever portion you want and sort of, sometimes I think you need to have that idea planted in your head. You aren't, you, you may not, your palate may not be developed enough where you can pull out that straw or the blackberry, but once the idea is sort of planted there, then you can sort of say, hey, you know what, I, I see that now. Yeah, and you know, that, that wine education kind of follows you and you can grow from that. And really, you know, you're gonna get a, an idea and an appreciation for what, what what kind of wines do you like? Which which end of the spectrum do you like? Um, uh, and we'll also help you with the pairings of wine as well. You know, some people are like, well, what do I pair with this wine? How do I pair with that wine? And a couple of the, the rules that we go by is compare and contrast. So sometimes you really want, like for the Gambas Ajillo, which is made with butter and garlic, and it's really kind of a rich, um, buttery sauce, you may want to uh, complement that and have a buttery Chardonnay with it, because those are going to pair really well together. But you can also contrast with that. You can have a really steely Chardonnay, which is going to cut through the butter and right. sort of enhance the appreciation of the palate between between bites. All right, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. We've got to go, but Mark, you need to come here and check it out yourself at the Tahoe Bar House. Back to you in the studio.